Welcome everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thanks for joining this webinar by Altudo and Akvia, Unlocking the Potential of Headless Drupal. Let me start with the agenda. Today, we will have a short intro on Altudo and Akvia, and then we will talk about the market trends. We go deep drive on what is headless CMS and how Drupal can function as an headless CMS and how Drupal and Next.js can bring two powers, right? Like from the DXP uh, leader Drupal plus the front-end technology Next.js, like how they can work together. We do have a short demo of how Next.js and Drupal can align and how, how you can still manage all the Drupal backend experience and also like Visivig editor, everything, along with taking the advantage of all the headless CMS features. And also we have like few headless success stories uh, which uh, Drupal and Acquia was able to accomplish. With that, I will start with the speaker intro. Uh, Tammy, Tammy, you want to start? Absolutely. Hi, I'm Tammy Perlstein. I'm a principal product marketing manager at Acquia. I've been at Acquia for a little over a year, but joined with a wealth of experience across digital experience uh, as an industry. So excited to have this conversation with Altudo today and we have a good one for you guys. Yeah, thanks, Tammy. I will go next. I'm Satish, uh, currently working as a senior vice president delivery technology and delivery in Altudo. I have 25 plus years of experience in delivering scalable IT solutions. I've been in this content and commerce area for almost 15 years now, currently supporting my customers with achieving the digital and cloud transformation. I'm based in Phoenix, Arizona. I can be reached at the email ID given satish.balakrishnan at altudo.co. The next speaker is Karthik. Karthik, you want to go next? Hi, uh, this is Karthik. So I have about uh, 14 plus years of experience working with uh, Drupal and other CMS. I have a lot of domain uh, experience with marketing, e-commerce, education, health, sports, and telecom domain. So I have a really good experience with uh, customizing Drupal, in Drupal as a solution, and also including implementing third-party services in Drupal, CMS, and developing the API. And also I contributed patches and modules to the Drupal community. So you can uh, reach out to me at kartik.umar at altudo.co. A brief intro about Altudo. Uh, Altudo, we are a uh, global digital marketing and technology agency. We focused on one thing and one thing alone that is create a personalized customer experience to our customers. And the way we do, do that one is like a, with an integrated tech stack that is focused on delivering omni-channel, cross-channel, personalized experience using the single view of customer. The, uh, the key mark tech that we assemble is CMS, marketing automation, automation, CDP, analytics, CRM. These are the three tools come together. So we will be able to achieve the single view of customer. And also like, a, we, and also we do have a very unique, innovative way to bring the customer insights to the process. So our DXP experience, like yeah, we, we've been in this DXP world for over 20, uh, 20 years now, we implemented like 2,000 2, plus projects, worked with 500 plus customers. We have like 400 plus trained certified DXP uh, team members uh, across like various platforms. We are very well known in the market for our IPs and accelerators that we created over these years. From service-wise, uh, we do end-to-end -end solutioning, uh, starting from advisory services, implementation, managed services, migrations, and updates. We build like custom solutions for the version upgrade, like particularly for uh, Drupal and other uh, major CMS. Like we do have a plat like upgrade uh, accelerators, which helps to migrate this version upgrades much faster and seamless. Uh, we we do have like something called one web framework, which which we primarily used for multi-site implementation, single reusable uh, code base used to build like a multi multi-site, multi-tenant, multilingual uh, websites, and also like uh, we have a lot of experience on the marketing cloud, including uh, campaign management, personalized CDP and DAM implementations. About our Experience on the Drupal and Acquia, like yeah, we've been working with Drupal for more than 10 years now, three plus years partnership with Acquia. Uh, I have like 10 plus awards across worldwide awards we have received in this world, in this uh, DXP. And also like we, we have like 20 plus integrated solutions, uh, which we build, uh, which accelerate the development uh, IPs and uh, accelerators. And also like we have like 80 plus Drupal SMEs in the team. With that, I will give it to Tammy to talk about like Akvia. 
Thank you. A little background on Acquia. So Acquia was born out of the Drupal open source movement. We were founded back in 2007 by Dries Beitard, the founder of the Drupal project. And the goal was really to support the growing Drupal project and movement and community and help increase the adoption of the composable solution. And Acquia bet that the open source and cloud movement would win in the long run, in the long term, and in the digital experience space specifically. And from the very beginning, our platform has been cloud-based. Now today, we're a proven leader in the digital experience space as assessed by Gartner, Forrester, and more. We have over 4,000 customers across a variety of verticals. You can see just a few here on the right of your screen. Uh, and those organizations bet their business uh, and the experiences they provide to their customers on Acquia and on Drupal. And Acquia is the open and composable DXP built with the foundation of Drupal. So built with the open source uh, CMS to provide you ultimate flexibility and an API first perspective, we're looking to integrate across your existing systems and services, as well as expand you across the Acquia DXP solutions. And our solutions are also composable. So as you grow, as your, uh, your challenges and your goals adapt, you can swap out different services or expand your services as uh, you really change your organization. Your teams can also assemble and reassemble the different components to craft your digital experiences at scale, making it really modular, really composable, and really flexible. And we're built for resilience uh, with that in mind to meet the ever-changing digital landscape with security and performance at the forefront. So, uh, Akpia and Altitude, like, like we both, both the agency have a common goal uh, to, help, uh, to help the businesses succeed in the digital world. Akpia being an open source uh, leader in the DXP platform and uh, Altudo being focusing a really on the creating a personalized solution. Combining both both Acquia and Altudo combine like uh, will result in a better ROI for all, all your digital investments. We talked about it like uh, why why it's time to think and act on Atlas, right? Like uh, uh, these are all some of the recent studies. Uh, for example, the world, worldwide website software forecast, right? Like recently mentioned that the CMS solutions, like uh, headless CMS solutions were like a, in 2021, it was like 5%, but we are seeing a compounded growth of 27.5% across the uh, year after year. And uh, in 2026, like uh, over like $1.6 billion solutions will be built using the headless content management solutions. Same thing like we hear from the Foster predicts by, by 2024, the next year, actually like the 75 percentage of enterprise will, will have adopted a headless CMS, uh, CMS solutions. And uh, one of the recent studies says like a 83 percentage of e-commerce companies will start using this headless CMS for their digital commerce strategy. And uh, from uh, markets and markets predicts that AI in the headless CMS market will grow from like 130 million in 2022, 1.32 billion uh, in 2025, which is like a 58.2% growth year on year. So this is the primary reason, right? Like the various, various studies, various market trends shows like a headless CMS is being widely adopted. It's not something new. Uh, it's been already adopted and it's, it's, grow, it's gonna grow, explode in the upcoming year. So this is the best time for all the marketers and the IT team members like to start thinking about headless and migrate the solution to the headless. So before we go deeper on the headless on the Drupal side, let's start talk about like what is like headless CMS and what are all the different variations exist today. When we talk about the traditional uh, traditional CMSs, CMS, a user create and edit their content through their VisiVig editors or an HTML editor. The CMS then displays the content according to the front-end layer, uh, front-end delivery layer built within the CMS. So the front-end delivery layer is uh, coupled uh, within the CMS. That's the, that's the only major difference between the headless and traditional CMS. The front-end layer is coupled within the CMS itself. So if we if we remove the headless CMS, pretty much like uh, the headless or decoupled CMS will form. In in a headless CMS, there is no default front end uh, templates. So the CMS expose all the content in an API layer, and as the developers will create like a front end agnostic uh, solutions, they can uh, they can utilize this raw data and build the solution which fits for 
whatever the channel they want to present uh, present the content like whether it's a web uh, or it is in the mobile or in the uh, wa- like digital watches or any any devices they should be able to use uh, the api content and they can create their own front end templates in their uh, any any technologies which they want to build decouple cms is very similar to headless but it also provides an additional feature of uh, retaining the uh, front end template Uh, but it, it's decoupled, uh, like it's not directly pulled from the database, rather it uses the same layer app, say API layer. Uh, so the, uh, so it, it, it provides both headless and also uh, features of headless and also the uh, coupled CMS experience also, like it provides both uh, in the decoupled CMS. So we can talk a little more on the headless Drupal. Drupal has built like a, it, it was a started as a coupled solution like where the front end and C, front end sits inside the CMS. But in the uh, recent versions, like a, like the application layer, like API layer has been created. So Drupal supports both decoupled and headless uh, headless CMS. So what what is the what are the uses right like headless Drupal is a way to build the website and web application, not just the website. Like we can use this car data. Content and then build the you utilize them in your in your e-commerce solution web portal wherever you want you should be able to build this provides like a, the decoupled option it's now no longer like it's not required for us to do the create the front end using PHP rather we can use any of the uh, recent frameworks like Next.js React or any of the tools by utilizing the APIs provided by the Drupal. So yeah, like so Drupal Atlas uh, Drupal is ideal for creating a custom front end. Building mobile apps and integrating with your any third-party services. Why do we need like a, a headless Drupal, right? Like a, de- deciding uh, like the foremost advantage of uh, using an headless Drupal will be the website performance. When we when we talk about performance, like a performance, uh, it's not just like a. It's primarily very important for the customer ex- uh, experience perspective, but also right like right now with the uh, recent. Uh, Google algorithm changes. Uh, websites with the better performance uh, gets better page rank. So, so it becoming a must for uh, to get the better performance. Uh, headless Drupal, uh, a decoupled architecture will provide a much better performance than a coupled uh, CMS. So that's the primary importance of moving into a, a headless Drupal. And also, right, right now, it's not just website like a. Uh, to provide a uh, you like you create the create content once and use it across multiple channels it became a common norm so uh, headless drupal will provide that facility as well that feature as well and as a developer like uh, you you get like more control now like uh, uh, all the modern technologies like uh, you don't need to be stuck with php or any back end solution uh, the developers have the wide wide options right now it's not just the front end technology they can utilize any any modern technologies to to build that modern technology which they already know they can utilize them and build the solutions so the availability of developers and uh, uh, etc will will be uh, much easier now and also like uh, building this uh, since when you build on your own solution like there is no restriction platform level restrictions are not there so it will be provides us to build a more engaging responsive and seamless user experience on our website web application so the scale scalability like uh, since uh, the feature of like uh, moving uh, the content delivery away from the back end system will provide us uh, opportunity to scale uh, scale the web- website like uh, we can utilize any of the edge computing or wherever we should be able to uh, deploy and scale as our business as a business grows like we we have the option to scale and also the from the security perspective and also maintenance and everything get uh, easier right now with with the atlas Drupal. There are like a lot of common misconception uh, about using headless. Uh, tra- traditionally, we hear like headless. Headless is only for developers. Though, as I mentioned, like uh, headless definitely provides a wide variety of options for uh, for the developers. But also, like with with the uh, performance and all other uh, advantage advantages we discussed before. It provides like for marketers, non-technical content creators, and every, for everyone, uh, headless 
Headless will provide like a improving your page uh, uh, page performance and experience and everything like so. So Headless provides it's not just for the developers, but it's for marketers, non-technical users, content authors. Everybody uh, take benefits from this uh, Headless. Uh, Headless. And also be here, like Atlas is best suited for a single page application. Uh, yes, like Atlas definitely can be used in the single page application, but with the uh, advantage, take, we, we can take advantage of all the modern technologies and solutions. Like uh, we should be able to build a uh, traditional website, mobile apps, or any, any other front end uh, applications uh, by consuming this uh, APIs. And uh, there is another misconception like uh, headless means sacrificing Drupal features. So uh, that, that's not true as well. Uh, in the upcoming, we, we will be showing a demo where uh, even uh, like we will not lose any, any backend uh, features that Drupal provide, but also like a page level editing features also can be enabled uh, when, when, we, uh, when we deploy a headless Drupal. And uh, Drupal is not SEO friendly. This is exactly opposite uh, of what in from the reality. Uh, the websites built using like front end technology, decoupled websites are always uh, uh, have better SEOs. Uh, and also like uh, because of, as I mentioned before, like uh, because of the recent Google algorithm changes, uh, this provides like the SEO, SEO has been dra drastically increased. Uh, we have seen customer uh, migrating to the headless CMS, I've achieved like 90 plus light of score and which improved overall, like uh, increased their organic traffic and everything. And uh, Drupal is less secure. Uh, the, this one also uh, is not the right right thing. Like a bit, uh, Drupal can be more, more secure than uh, traditional uh, traditional CMS by going with the headless, like because we are like, so separating the backend and uh, front end uh, so which will help us to reduce the uh, security like attack and well, uh, and improve improve security and there is another misconception saying like a drupal is only for the large organization uh, definitely like large large organizations can take advantage like because of the enterprise wide solutioning solution like a uh, large organization can take advantages, but also we have seen like a lot of small businesses, nonprofits and individual bloggers also taking advantage of uh, headless Drupal and building a solutions like which, which can uh, really omni-channel, cross-channel uh, solutions they were able to build. Uh, headless Drupal is difficult to set up. Uh, it, it, it could be a case like several years ago, but but with the uh, launch of like Acquia starter kit and also like the uh, very uh, the API layer, like very customized API layers, which have evolved in the recent version of Drupal, it provides like a easy to set up and easy to manage. Uh, manage uh, headless Drupal is expensive. Uh, that's that's another uh, this, uh, misconception, like because. Uh, you can uh, utilize like uh, uh, since since the we're going to use the front end front end uh, development frameworks it will be easy to deploy even uh, we can deploy them in the edge uh, edge, cl edge cloud and uh, there is no need for a web server also like with the uh, recent improvement in the edge cloud drupal requires like extensive coding knowledge uh, uh, again, like this, this one also a big misconception. Like uh, uh, the headless, headless Drupal will allow us, uh, like uh, anyone who knows like how to consume and use an API will be able to start developing their front end using any of the languages they know, whether it's a uh, Next.js, whether it's in React or it's a C sharp, whatever language they know, uh, they if they know how to consume uh, an API and how to display. Uh, uh, it's like a, without like we don't need any additional knowledge or anything like we can uh, the team de developers can use their existing knowledge and they should be able to build a headless drupal solution and the last one is like a headless drupal is not user friendly uh, again like a, uh, it's like the front end experience now uh, with the performance and also like the using the latest uh, uh, react js and uh, type of front end framework you, we can improve the uh, customer experience drastically. Uh, we can showcase like uh, how uh, in our demo we will show like how we how easy to filter uh, filter a huge uh, volume of search results and everything. 
Yeah, Karthik, you want to talk about Drupal yeah. architecture? Thank you, Satish. So I want to touch base on the different architectures available uh, for us to solution or implement the Drupal application in a way like uh, we want to have this data exposed to uh, multiple channels and multiple organizations. So this can be easily uh, achieved by following any of the architectures which best fits your requirements. So basically we have a traditional or monolithic architecture where we are using Drupal as a CMS. Uh, so it holds all the content and we have these front end templates available to render the data. The unified architecture where you have powerful tools and features of content management and user management will be using in the traditional Drupal uh, templating. And next is like uh, we have decoupled architecture. So Drupal is used solely as a content management system and the front end is built completely separately using a technology or a per platform uh, desired, whichever platform you are comfortable or uh, best suit for your uh needs so you can uh, approach that solution so this way it provides the greatest degree of flexibility uh, but requires more development effort as i mentioned like uh, since we are separating the layers like front end and back end uh, we might need some expertise uh, developing the front end framework uh, using vue or nextjs or react and we need the coordination between the both the teams to uh, make it a better outcome and next is the hybrid architecture or progressively decoupling. So uh, this is a best uh, shoot for organizations where uh, they wanted to have uh, or utilize the uh, Drupal front end uh, templates as well as exposing the data uh, through the API. So uh, some parts of the website or application are built using traditional Drupal templating and rendering techniques while other parts are built using some front-end frameworks like I mentioned, uh, Next.js or Vue, whichever uh, we can. So this approach provides a balance between the flexibility and Drupal's out-of-box features. So we are not losing any kind of uh, editing experience or any kind of user management or content management experience. So that is what it is about, like the Drupal architectures, which we can take up. And uh, coming to the next, uh, it is the key components of uh, headless Drupal. When we are implementing any headless application, so we have, and, and coming to Drupal, like we have these components like Drupal CMS, we have the uh, API or the web services, we have the front end framework. Uh, so authentication uh, part is also uh, the major component here and the content delivery and uh, also the decoupled architecture. So going over like Drupal CMS as we are uh, well versed with uh, Drupal and other CMS. So uh, it has a powerful content creation and management capabilities, including content types, fields, taxonomies, and uh, views. So, and the API coming to the API component. So Drupal provides an API that allows other systems to access and manipulate Drupal content. It is uh, both like, uh, consuming the data and also we can update the data from the front end framework. And the next component is component is the front end framework. Uh, so which separates uh, the Drupal uh, front end component and we can use uh, uh, any framework like React, Angular, or Vue uh, is used to build the user interface for the Drupal headless application. So it communicates with the Drupal API to retrieve and to display the content. Uh, so that's the main uh, role of this component and authentication. Authentication and user management are basically handled by Drupal, which provides uh, user accounts, roles, permissions. So we can still use the capabilities of, uh, of Drupal um, authentication and users can log into the headless Drupal application using the same uh, Drupal credentials, which we have, which we provide from the, from the backend. And going over the content delivery, Drupal provides a variety of options for delivering content to the front end, including RESTful web services, JSON, GraphQL. The front end framework can choose a uh, best delivery method uh, based on its requirements. So whatever uh, is best shows for you, like we can pick up uh, the content delivery method. And also, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, like this all uh, comes under the decoupled architecture where we are separating the front end layer and back end layer and we are using uh, these services in between to transfer the data uh, or talk between the front end and back end components. So the key considerations to move to headless Drupal. So 
everyone has a question like uh, why we should move to headless Drupal and what are the reasons uh, behind uh, moving to headless and what benefits we'll be getting out of it. So I'm going to uh, just walk over uh, the key considerations which you have to make uh, while making the decision. So the content strategy is the uh, main um, component here, uh, which, which you have to consider. So headless Drupal separates backend content management from the presentation layer. This means that you will not have a solid content strategy in place to ensure that your content is structured, organized, and optimized for delivery to different channels and devices. So you should uh, have more focus on how you are structuring your content. And coming to the next uh, consideration is that development expertise. Uh, so at least Drupal require different skills, like uh, as I mentioned, like we need to have uh, a Drupal backend development experience, site building experience, and also you'll need uh, developers to develop the front end framework, uh, which is which can be Next.js or Vue.js, and they should be well versed with uh, implementing uh, the APIs and uh, also uh, follow the microservices architecture and best possible standards uh, to create the APIs. And next comes the integration requirements with headless Drupal. We need a lot. We need to integrate and in, with the third party systems systems to deliver content uh, to different channels and devices. As I mentioned, we, if you want to uh, create a system for omni channel experience, like we need to deliver uh, to different channels and uh, the responses which may vary uh, depending upon what channel we are targeting. So this means uh, you'll need to carefully evaluate your in integration requirements, select tools, uh, which will help you seamlessly connect between Drupal and other uh, systems. And uh, security considerations with headless Drupal, uh, you are exposing your Drupal API to the internet, which can create a security risk. You'll need to ensure that you have uh, robust security measures in place to protect against the potential uh, vulnerabilities. So we have, uh, yeah, we have we have the secure uh, communication. Uh, we have to follow the best uh, coding practices. So we have to make sure like uh, XSS and CSR uh, protection are in place. And we are also making regular updates to the Drupal core and contributed modules so that uh, we are not uh, giving any chance of leaking our vulnerabilities. So uh, I'm going to talk about a Drupal solution, which we developed at all to do. So uh, like we developed an application using Drupal and we selected next year as a framework because it is getting more popular and it has a lot of capabilities and uh, our front end team also created a component library which we can re reuse and kind of a framework uh, which we can enhance the time to market for uh, anyone who is uh, going to opt for it yeah we have we have implemented uh, the solution using restful web services and json api modules which comes out of box with Drupal. we configured the rest uh, resources uh, for content file uploads the web forms so uh, yeah, we structured them uh, in a fashion like we want to expose the data to the different channels. So we are using JSON, uh, like there are a lot of authentication methods available uh, out of box with Drupal. We uh, implemented this using uh, JSON web token authentication and the restful APIs are uh, authenticated uh, with JWT tokens. And also we have few customizations implemented in our uh, Drupal application to make sure like the responses api responses are to facilitate the required formatting and the structure so based on the channel which is uh, trying to utilize it so we also implemented that as part of this uh, solution and uh, yeah we have we have a next year component library which is uh, robust and which fits the best uh, with the drupal uh, to consume the data and also like update the data uh, so it's kind of a uh, two-way handshake uh, between the Drupal uh, used as a content repository and the next year's uh, framework. Yeah, thank uh, you can take over. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kartik. So Acquia also pulled together two starter kits that enable organizations in building headless Drupal applications. The first is Acquia's headless starter kit. Uh, and what you achieve with the starter kit is being able to accelerate your new headless Drupal application builds by up to 50%. So I will say this is meant for new headless Drupal projects, uh, but it really comes with a, a boatload of capabilities and features that enable your teams to work faster when building with headless Drupal. 
I'll touch on a few today. The first is a minimalist configuration for easy setup with excess uh, configuration for purely headless development in Drupal. The second is a specific headless developer role for front end developers to have a dedicated role inside the CMS to access API docs, managing access for front end applications, connecting right into the CMS. An API dashboard for front end developers to get access to dedicated dashboards that manage all headless integration aspects within the CMS. Data modeling in headless mode, providing revamped admin navigation, bringing all the data modeling controls under a single menu, so making that navigation really seamless, really easy. Content preview and experience to create preview uh, within the CMS to see the content uh, through the front end context, uh, right from the within the headless CMS. So being able to see what that content is going to look like uh, in the headless context, uh, but making it very easily previewed. And lastly, headless and hybrid UI mode. So the ability to operate in a purely headless mode or in a hybrid mode where Drupal is still used to render a front end. So that is covering off on the Acquia headless starter kit. But like I said, we do offer another, which is the Next.js starter kit. So the Next.js starter kit um, gives you pre-built configuration and React components to speed up the creation of your new React-based front-end application. And why we chose Next.js, well, it's really proven its popularity, maturity, and flexibility to support decoupled headless and static architectures. So with the Next.js starter kit, you'll be able to um, achieve accelerated administrative setup with roles, users, consumers, API keys, uh, Next.js site in instances and more within a single step. So that single step setup makes it really easy. Uh, a starter kit for connecting Next.js with Drupal and the Acquia content model. So that uh, makes that very seamless. Um, and then the third is JSON API wrapper to handle all JSON API queries. And the last is starter React components for rendering the content uh, available in the headless starter kit and a default routing system mapping Drupal content types to React components. So again, making the seamless uh, process of building out your headless Drupal projects with the headless uh, starter kit for Drupal from Acquia, and then also providing that front end accelerator as well with our Next.js starter kit. So this is our application uh, which we developed. So this we have a carousel, we have a few uh, cards of content, and we have a contact us block it's here at the end. So this is the home page which we developed, and all this content is coming from uh, the Drupal uh, CMS, which we'll be showing you uh, in the next few minutes. So uh, going over to our professional, so this is the page where we have a lot of uh, tons of data uh, about the professionals which are available in different locations so we can filter the uh, ad filters and then um, fine tune the results uh, based on uh, the applied filters we can also uh, see like we have a few more uh, filters from other locations we can just select them and see how the results are uh, getting fine tuned yeah, so uh, this is again like selecting a new location. So you just see like the professionals available in those locations. We have uh, another filter here, area of focus. So this bio professionals have some area of focus tag. So we can filter these uh, professionals by choosing like area of tags. We can also uh, search by a keyword, uh, either by the name of a professional or let's say i'm going to search for com and we got this professional matching with the name i'm going to choose nora and on clicking like we are going to the details page for that professional and these are the different sections which we implemented uh which are there in drupal all this content is getting pulled from drupal using the restful api i can show you the editing experience so I can click on edit and this gets updated into the text field where we can do the inline editing for this professional. And uh, yeah, I can just scroll down and show you uh, how we are editing the bio of this professional. We made some edits 
yeah and yeah this data is updated in real time and i just wanted to uh, show the other section where interest of the particular professional we can just update this by making some changes and then click on save and this gets updated in real time so as this content is updated i'm just going to go back to our professionals page to show you uh, the changes are now reflecting in the listing as well with this data being pulled from the listing api and all this data which we modified is now available in drupal right. so i'm now going to uh, show you the back end the drupal cms implementation so we configured the restful api uh, which comes out of box in drupal like we configured them we configured some uh, serialization yeah web token and json authentication token modules for providing the jwt authentication and uh, here I'm, I'm going to show you how uh, we configure the restful apis like we have these resources available content web form or file upload and i can just edit uh, content and show you uh, we have all these methods and then jwt authentication is what we are using as authentication method and yeah so we configured everything uh and i'm just going to showcase uh one particular content type which is bio which we just had a, a look at and here we have different uh fields added and then uh we are referencing these fields with paragraphs so we added paragraph types i'm just going to edit uh one paragraph type and show you how we structure the fields to hold the content which we are showcasing in the uh, ui so let me click on education and we have a lot of uh, fields which are available for that particular uh, paragraph and filtering by a uh, content type we can see the list of uh, bios available and nora peters we just updated from nora and recently nora peters so it is now reflecting back in drupal so just trying to edit and show you how we populated the content in the back end, which is available in the front end in different sections, uh, as I showcased you. Uh, yeah, so this is this is how we structure the all the categories applicable for this professional. Yeah, so this is a quick uh, demo uh, showcasing the capabilities of headless implementation using Next.js. So we'll finish off our uh, conversation today with a couple of customer stories of how they were able to achieve success leveraging headless Drupal. A couple of different industries, uh, but some really great stories. So we'll start off with PAC-12, which is the Collegiate Athletic Conference. Uh, and they really wanted to provide connected applications to provide the best digital fan experience. Um, I know some, I'm a big sports fan, March Madness is going on, uh, but really it, they wanted to provide the number one spot for their fans to go to for information. And PAC-12 has connected apps on an array of platforms, such as iOS, Apple TV, Android, Fire TV, and they rebuilt their entire website, pack12.com. So their applications present content such as team schedules, video, info from social platforms, uh, so pretty dynamic content to their fans. And connecting all of these applications with the most accurate content, which as I said is dynamic, it changes frequently, proved to be pretty challenging for their team. So Pac-12 went out and leveraged Headless Drupal to connect to and power their array of fan-facing applications via APIs. Uh, and Drupal acts as the central nervous system, so really uh, the piece that holds everything together, um, orchestrating various microservices and the flow of key data across all of these apps. Uh, leveraging Headless Drupal and Acquia together, Pac-12 was able to deliver 3,000 plus landing pages for all annual Pac-12 conference events. Then they were able to create all these in just five months. And they also migrated all their existing video and can now host all pre-game, live game, and post-game video on their new site. 
And in the first year on Aquia's platform, Pac-12 networks doubled the number of hours people viewed content on their site. So a really great example of uh, a real life way to leverage Headless Drupal to increase customer digital experiences and connect those experiences across an array of applications. Our second example is a company called Livewire. They're an ele electric motorcycle brand. Uh, and what they really wanted to do was deliver a rich multimedia digital experience that portrayed what it was like to ride one of their motorcycles. Uh, they also wanted to establish a single source of truth for their digital assets. And their previous site was designed completely from custom code, which made their content updates very, very challenging with a heavy reliance on their developer team. And by shifting to a headless implementation with Drupal, it lets Livewire integrate Drupal, their CMS, uh, and all the content that lives in Drupal into two different versions on their website. So overall, they're able to improve their site performance, but they're also able to boost their customer experience and satisfaction. And their team leveraged Drupal's rich API support to take a content as a service approach. So they were seamlessly integrating uh, Drupal, their powerful CMS, into their existing front end application. And the new site effectively captures their brand, the experience of their brand, and allows their communication specialists to seamlessly update media and all of the related content. So removing all of those barriers uh, that they initially had by building with custom code. Their results, they were able to uh, implement in just one month. They launched five global sites in one month as well, and they launched a pre-order page for one of their bikes, which sold out in minutes. So again, another great example of leveraging headless Drupal, accessing those rich APIs and delivering rich content that connects with customers and really drives uh, incredible customer experiences. And our last customer success story is KCTS9, which is the Netflix of PBS, uh, and they're powered by Drupal, of course, but they were they chose to build their experience with headless Drupal. Uh, their site was really in, tightly integrated with a variety of PBS's APIs with station level curation, personalization, and original content. And they built the site to serve APIs for future projects, such as Roku and Apple TV and uh, a number of apps. So again, another example of leveraging headless Drupal to use those rich APIs to serve content, not just on current channels, but looking toward those, towards those future channels. What are you looking to expand into? Uh, and how are you planning on serving all of your content th to those new channels? Uh, and what KCTS sign was able to deliver by leveraging headless Drupal, uh, so by taking that decoupled approach, they were able to create a streaming application that is three times stickier than their default PBS app based on videos played per visit. So they were able to increase their customer engagement threefold just by leveraging headless in a Drupal context. So great, another example, another great example of how uh, a customer of ours leveraging headless Drupal was able to, again, impact that customer experience, really drive impactful engagement, uh, gain revenue, gain, gain loyalty, uh, leveraging headless Drupal uh, and really seeing some strong success. Thank you everyone. Have a good rest of your day or night.